Let's try to find the uh, person. There we go. There we are. Uh, the person the dame sent us to get. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around. Oh, I like that though. name. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. I use the uh, I use the name Yannick in games like Dark Souls or like fantasy uh, games where terms uh, or like old school names are like really fitting. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. I just like it. I think it's a cool name. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find ah. they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand. And he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Alrighty. Oh, I still have to go to the Vale itself. I thought we were going to report this to Isabel, uh, the side quest, but I guess not. Kind of interesting. Kind of annoying. <laughs> Just going to go down here. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. <laughs> he was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. I like that they're not being vilified. Like, the sex workers aren't being vilified, and the people that partake in their services aren't being vilified. Like, it's just sort of a thing that exists in this universe. And they're like, yeah, he was an okay customer. Like, he kind of doted on us. He was kind of old. We all called him uncle because he was, like, nice. Like, that's kind of interesting. It's like, it, it's... A, a unique perspective on uh, like courting and uh, you know I guess sex work I guess is the best way for it in, in a medieval setting I like that just kind of normalizes it Right. 
Ooh, what? What is this? That's Just NPCs. Branded. Okay. Gonna make sure I switch to the Torgal menu before I accidentally use all my potions again. <laughs> that will happen. I don't really feel like fighting these birds, but we'll fight those worgen up there. Let's try to get as many ability points as we can. One of the things that I think these sort of active battle games lose out on is that random encounters sort of force you to level up and force you to stay on the resource economy. Uh, so when a game just sort of lets you bypass stuff, it is easy to just be like, ah, it's in the way. And not level yourself up enough. <laughs> We got plenty of bloody hides. You branded here now. Here now. Benoit or a flame grande. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. It's a really funny way of phrasing that, but all right. All right, where is he? My, I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. What a flourish. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. All right, guess we got to hunt. Let me do that. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Don't let them get away! <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's funny how Clive just sends them flying. <laughs> Find it like endlessly amusing. No! You weren't supposed to kill Wolfby. You were supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you Little still sociopath. Speaking? Father will hear of this. We should fight him. What a piece of trash. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. I mean, the wolf was rabid, so... Kind of did need to be put down, but... Someone needs to put an end to this. Before it happens again. Now yeah, let's go beat him up. This music is like strangely ominous. <laughs> it's like Twin Peaks music. You, Brandy, come here. Ominous this whooshing is... in the background. <laughs> How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? 
How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Hmm. Hmm. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? Give me a battle. How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm thrilled at the idea of fighting a bigger monster because of this. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. What are you gonna dig with, Clive? How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Gotta bury him somehow. We're all victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. <laughs> Father! <laughs> Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? That's what I'm saying. Realms less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For their help. Damn straight. Restorative Just justice. It. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. I like this guy's voice. Till then. Neat. The side quests, at least, even when they don't give much in way of reward, 
uh, like like physical reward, gold, and stuff like that, they do give a lot of ability points, so it makes it pretty worthwhile. chores but she hasn't come back yet i think she's lost please can you help me look for her i can't promise i'll find her but i'll try describe her to me she's beautiful white hair she lets me stroke her when i'm sad she's ever such a good girl so quiet and kind and she likes walking in the wheat I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday, but it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Alrighty. The super ominous music in the background makes a lot of these so NPC the dialogues desert. seem intense. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Come on. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Ready? Job. Is Chloe her bearer? I hope they don't mind the interruption. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had prissy hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> they cut so we don't hear the, the kid crying. Sorry, Chloe. <sighs> All right, the forward. If 
the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oh, why would they? It's right outside the capital. You're an assassin, Clive. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one has been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. All right. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. I want to see if there's any like treasure chests around. I haven't really been exploring a lot of the towns, so I keep feeling like I'm missing stuff, but at the same time, they all just seem to have, like, victory spoils in them, and I, I haven't really been running away from fights at all, so it seems like it's pretty simple to get ahead of that economy. I don't really feel the need to open a bunch of these chests. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Alrighty. Oh, whoops. Is it a fallen ruin? Smells of death here, Torgo. Interesting. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Don't let them get away. 
<laughs> Look at that. Alright, that, we did okay. 44 points, that's not too bad. For a small encounter like this. Damn it. Well, Bodies. There's a sword in that, in that wolf. Dang. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. You both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's gonna find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of figured it would end like this. They're really leaning hard on the like. I need to tell Isabel. The uh, the bearers and and everyday people kind of have a have a not great uh, run of things in this world, which I mean makes sense, but especially in Sembrek. You say these are all from Dalian. All right, let's go find. Oh wait, that said Isabel and Moore. I thought it was in in Northreach. Darn it! Now I need to run all the way back. Oh no, that was stupid of me. Oops. That's well, the day done, then. I thought it meant Northreach. I forgot the name of this town. That's fine. I didn't realize the dame would be here. I thought it wanted me to come back. I guess we can do some combat. Uh, Maybe level up a little bit. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about me. We do need to level Torgal up. I want to. I want to get that meter up really high so that we can have like higher damage sick and higher damage uh, ravage. It could be really helpful. I know that there's a ring that makes Torgal attack on his own. I kind of feel like that would be like the ideal way just for the game to work by default. Pressing the D-pad and, and losing access to your items just to have a character that otherwise is AI controlled just like do basic functionality is kind of weird. And it, it doesn't really feel great because like obviously the D-pad isn't really something you want to like combo on. So this is an odd a game feel. Delivering, I could have seen to it. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. Ah. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then? I see. 
see. My dear Tatien. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. <laughs> and of course the main quest doesn't give us any ability points, it just gives us experience. I should go. Before you do. I have one last gift, a token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. Ooh, good According info. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is hmm. no mere skirmish. Were I to guess... I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. It's kind of intriguing. Could possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. After it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we just have an endless supply of treats. Merchant. What are you can buy about? anything. Nothing. I guess there's this. Sure, I'll buy that. Go on. Take it. Good I should just buy the Orchestrion rolls because I'm not really spending my money on anything else, but. I mean. Kind of whatever. All right, time to keep exploring. Gill bug. Oh, that's nice. That gives us like a thousand gold. Something like that. A decent amount, at least. Now we finally can meet back up with our companions. I want to explore up here before we go in there, just in case there's like a trust or something. Look at that. My sixth sense. Perfect. Black blood. Oh, that's all right, I guess. Worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. I guess the capital looks kind of nice. The pleasure houses or a phlegm. Oh, it's Sid. Okay. I guess we're just in the in the capital already. All right. Just skip right in. <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. <laughs> Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Honestly, it's pretty nice. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this? fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Yeah, I really dig that. The like eco terrorism motif of Final Fantasy VII coming back here. Kind of interesting uh, save the planet narrative going on and, and Sid kind of playing the bad guy there. It's like a it's an interesting setup. It's something that uh, Final Fantasy has done a few times, but it's interesting that it's just like so forward here. Their stake claimed in the shadow of Oriflame's formidable gatehouse, the markets of Northreach attract customers from across the Empire. And then Drake's Head, Oriflame Holy Capital of Sambrek. In majestic silence has Drake's Head ever stood vigil over the Empire of Sambrek and its bejeweled capital. I guess soon here we're gonna have to uh, break in. And we love a heist. <laughs> 